Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 18 Beta 2 on the iPhone 14 Pro. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of reviews and iOS related content for you guys and I know you guys love these. Let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. So, I have been using the iOS 18 Beta 2 on my iPhone 14 Pro, which is my primary device for the past couple of days. It's been almost a rough part of a week uh, five days that i have been using this update on my device and here is my follow-up plus review of iphone 14 pro on ios 18 beta 2 okay so starting up with bugs because oh my freaking god ios 18 is getting worse i mean i just can't believe that how in this world the beta 2 is so much more buggier compared to the beta 1. Trust me, the previous beta, which was the iOS 18 beta 1, was way less buggy compared to this version. I have encountered a lot of bugs in this update compared to previous beta. This five days of period that I have been using my device, I had to restart my device probably twice every single day because of the bugs. And not to forget, there have been times when I was on a call or I was just using my device and scrolling through reels or something or typing something and the keyboard started to freeze and uh, my phone started to respring. So yeah, that is a really different thing that I am experiencing on the beta 2, which I just did not experience even once on the beta 1. iOS 18 beta 2 is a buggy update, a real one, because it is causing a lot of issues and a lot of bugs. Pretty much every second thing that I'm using on my phone is bugged and is getting buggier every single day. Moving on, now that we have talked about the bugs and we know that it is really, really buggy, let's talk about our favorite segment, that is the battery life. And there is no two ways about it, the battery life on the beta 2 is just so much more worse compared to the previous beta. I mean it is genuinely bad and by bad I mean I have to charge my phone twice every single day which never happened in my use case. Here we are talking about when I am right now staying most of the time home and I am on Wi-Fi 90% of the time only for few minutes not even hours I step out of my home to use my device outside where there is no wi-fi i have to use my cellular data which drains a lot of battery but trust me i am on wi-fi all the time most of the time i am on wi-fi and it is just pathetic that the battery life is so bad on wi-fi in terms of battery it is a really bad update as well the only thing good about ios 18 beta 2 compared to the previous beta is probably gonna be that we can use iphone mirroring but that is also more of a mac os update so i'll not really count it that much but yeah i have used the iphone mirroring to mac feature a lot and by a lot i mean definitely a lot uh, when my mac is just plugged in and i'm just scrolling or editing on my desktop and i'm just opening my iphone mirrored on my mac and it is just working perfectly fine i'm having zero issues and it is kind of addicting as well because whenever i use my mac it is all productivity it used to be all productivity but now i have my phone on my mac so i just can't stop going through and scrolling through reels which is so addictive anyways getting back to the topic in conclusion iphone 14 pro is performing pretty average compared to the previous beta i won't say it is performing bad or it is overheating or anything of any sort but it is definitely performing much worse compared to the beta one would i suggest you guys to update to this version definitely not not at all because it is just pathetic and there are so many bugs which are irritating me every single day i am myself considering downgrading my device to the ios 17.6 beta because it is definitely much more stable on the ios 17.6 compared to iOS 18 and you should also probably just stay on iOS 17 if you are already on that version or even if you are on the iOS 18 beta 1 you can also stay on that version for some time until the beta 3 rolls out next to next week and not to forget we are also going to have 
the public release of iOS 18 beta really, really soon. So you should look out for that and hit that subscribe button on this channel because I am one of the first person talking about all these updates. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. This is me, Jay, aka Tech Hyped. If you have watched this video till the end, thank you so much and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Comment down below what all things or doubts you have about this update that you want me to make video on or clarify your doubts. I'll be more than happy to do so. Thank you so much. I will catch you guys in the very next episode. Peace.